Yeah, welcome to this video. Here I have two uh, ignition coil coils. One that is uh, new, a new part here. It's a Vimo. And uh, here I have the original ignition coil. And uh, the difference between these two, I'm going to explain soon. But first, I want to show you that I have measured um, the resistance resistance between uh, the point one here. That is the earth, so it's uh, connected to this part of the ignition coil, and this is the positive, and this is the signal. And uh, as you can see here on this paper, I measured uh, 8.42 K between the other uh, connections. And between pin 1 and 2, I got uh, 9.4 K. And between uh, point 3 and 2, I got 1.05 K. And then the CC is the coil here that we have under this lid here. And that should be point, point 0.5 ohms. So that is the working ignition coil. But here on the right we have the failing uh, ignition coil. It doesn't work at all leaves no spark and that is because of the uh, ignition module mounted at the base here uh, you can I'm going to show you soon here um, <clears throat> but first there is no connection at all between 1 and 3 on this one and also between point, uh, 2 and 3 it, I got out of limits. I want to show you here if I measure between 1 and 3. I got the result of out of limits. So you can see if I short the leads here. Bad connection. But anyway, here is the result. I've just uh, measured all this. And between 1 and 2, I got very low reading here, about uh, 0.69k. That is 690 ohms, and that's way too low. So, the module is not working. <clears throat> and I want to show you on this original part that was uh, um, mounted in an old Volkswagen I had. And uh, on this, you can... take out of out this eight mil millimeters and nuts here you don't have to take them off uh, completely and uh, there are two mounted screws here on the back plate so then we can put the ignition coil is working it, that it's nothing wrong with this um, coil here so this is part this part is um, useful if you buy another uh, ignition module because here is the faulty 
component components and uh, under this lid you have the co failing components down here under this it's a rubber compound of some kind and um, you have the connections here and there are one component show, showing there and not much you can do to uh, repair this um, the thing is on the new ignition coil it's not possible to uh, remove the uh, ignition uh, module it's uh, soldered it is uh, soldered to the coil and not uh, they have not uh, done a very good job at soldering this it looks crap but it's working so I'm going to mount this um, in my car because I have another of this that failed and uh, in that case it was a crack here in the casing and uh, the car was running for about 20 minutes then it stopped working and uh, after 5 minutes cooling off it was able to start again and then maybe running for 2 minutes and then it failed again so I I knew what what it was so I I tested one of these instead and it worked like a charm after that yeah and um, if you have some questions about how to know what is failing in your ignition system many people just uh, take a chance of uh, um, and uh, throwing parts at their cars and don't get them to work anyway because they don't know what they're doing at all uh, I want to help you out if you have uh, some kind of problem and um, this is one way to um, know if your ignition module is failing so stay tuned <laughs>